Hello guys, what's up? It's your boy RD here. Today we'll be a quick unboxing of the Gianni P5 Mini. Nothing special standard packaging and I'm very sorry for a very late review and unboxing. So let's jump right into the specs. The display is a 4.5 inch IPS display and the camera is 5 megapixel at the back and 2 megapixel at the front. The memory is 1 GB RAM, 8 GB ROM expandable to 120 GB and that's a pretty good expandable storage for this category of phones. The OS it carries is 5.1 lollipop which is a bit laggy but will do the job. CPU is quad core 1.3 GHz, SIM is dual SIM, Bluetooth is V4.0. Let's jump right in. Packaging is pretty much straightforward and basic. It's covered with plastic with journey binding. So let's keep this aside and dig in further. So at the first glance, we have the screen guard, which is very unusual. Only some brands provide this. Then we have the journey P5 Mini's manual guide, which is ordinary and standard in all phones. Let's keep this aside. Then we have the plastic back earphones, which is very old school, very uncomfortable, but at this price point, it's fine. And last but not the least, we have the charger, which is USB to mini USB. Then we have the plug-in, which is standard and very odd looking. Then we have the battery, which is 1850 mAh. So, coming back to the device. First, you see the 5 megapixel camera, one tone flash, Gioni logo, and a Gioni sticker. Turning to the front, you see the Gioni's sticker screen guard, which shows all the Gioni P5 features. The screen is clear. Let's start from the bottom. We have the three touchpad, which is the home button and the back button. 2 megapixel camera, speaker output and a sensor. So let's be honest, from the whole overview, the phone is very glossy and very uncomfortable to hold. At the bottom left corner, we have the charger and at the right side, we have the power port and then up and down was rockers. Up, we have nothing. This phone is very chunky, but it's okay for this price category because it's a good steal and a very good deal. So to dig in further, you have to remove the plastic back case then we see an edge curve to curve plastic case. We see the volume rockers and power button which is a very old school look. But at this price category, again, it's a very good deal. So to power up this phone, it takes 1850 mAh battery. Simple, just put it inside and put the back case. So let's start the boot up. Usually the first phones, I mean to say the new phones, take a lot of time to boot up because it's a fresh start and a fresh setup. Finally, as all Android phones, we see the welcome screen. So let's select English, United States. Rest, I'm gonna fast forward because it's pretty boring. Taking you towards the display. The display size and the display contrast and deepness and the darkness of the colors are totally decent. It's manageable. Shifting from pages to pages are also good. Currently it's not laggy because there's no intense gaming going on. Shifting applications closing and opening is totally fine. Not laggy at all. So let's head over to the settings and see what it's rolling. About device, lollipop. So to getting over the looks, the phone looks okay. It's comparable to the iPhone 5C because the plastic is too glossy and it's not good for the people who have sweaty hands. So that's a wrap up for the Journey P5 Mini review and unboxing. I'm very, very, very sorry for the rate upload. I apologize. I literally uploaded after 5 months. Don't worry, the giveaway is on for the smartwatch. I'll do the giveaway on the next video. I have a bad news. I'm shifting my channel. So you have to unsubscribe this channel and subscribe to the new channel. I'll leave the link down below. So the giveaway and the winner and all the other videos will be held in the other channel. I will try to upload regularly. Anyways, the giveaway will be held and how to get in the giveaway will be in the other channel uh, when the new video uploads in the other channel. Thank you and that's a wrap.